Welcome. In this video, we're going to tell you more about the design of the Eldorado ATS. We'll tell you more about the people that are building it. Enjoy. Cars, boats, even sneakers. I always found it interesting to work on new things or innovative things. And that's why when this project came along, I was re really fascinated and I thought this is a, a unique opportunity to work together with some people that were brave enough to start this startup. Maybe to bring in my, uh, my knowledge from the, from the automotive industry and to, to, to transfer it into a boat design, why not? And to try and make it into something beautiful. I have rarely, maybe never, been so impressed for two entrepreneurs to have thought through what they want to build and how they want to build that so early on in the process. So I thought it was absolutely good enough for this boat to become successful. Then of course, yeah, when somebody like Evo comes along and joins the team as the designer to design the inside and the outside of the boat, now look, that's nothing short of a dream come true. It's a very innovative kind of project. And then to combine that and to sort of transfer this uh, philosophy of the whole project into a fantastic shape and colors and materials and stuff like that, that was something that I was really looking forward to do that. I wanted to capture that innovation, but I also wanted to connect it with something classic so that it's not only innovative and futuristic, but there were also some elements that, that give it a classic feeling of a, of a, of a real classic boat as well. I think if you look at the main lines, what we did in the side view is first of all, worked a little bit on the proportions and make sure that it has like also an extended bow and then it has this really cool wraparound screen. And then you see, of course, this winglet in the back. And if it comes out, it even has something almost like a bullet shape or something like an airplane. It's really, really fast, but still it has something like classical, something premium to it. Uh, but in a very, very fast way. So it gives you a completely, from inside of the boat, a completely different view on the landscape. But also, if you sit in a boat and you see this boat coming by, it's super impressive. You have to make sure that it's a smart boat as well. So it means that you want to introduce completely a digital world. We have three, three big screens, they're really floating in the interior. And of course, that's combined with a couple of typical classical analog elements, like the throttle and the steering wheel but the main interaction will be in the digital world, for sure. It's really exciting to work with a Dutch team, and I believe that what we are doing here with Idorado is revolutionary, not just in Holland, but on an international global scale. What an amazing designer. Huh? I trust you are as excited as we are. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. In the next video, we're gonna take her out to the water show you how she flies. <laughs>